Hey there YouTube, my name is George, welcome back to another video, um, quick and dirty one this time, um, made myself an FM dipole for my old tuner here, but sometimes I'm out here I like to listen to the radio, so uh, I decided to knock one together, all made out of junk lying around the place in the shed here, and uh, just have it clamped onto the tripod here, just uh, while I was testing that out, so this is going to go up on the chimney of the house, uh, there's a little pole up there already with a TV aerial on it that's not used so we'll stick a double shelly clamp on top of that pole and we'll clamp it on uh, on the other side this way. So basically it is a half wave dipole vertically polarized and uh, it's always been kind of dodgy to get FM reception here. I don't know what the deal is but um, I'm hoping with this thing it'll... Uh, It'll be a bit better. So very very simple to make. Uh, made out a half inch copper pipe. Um, just black tape on it. Um, with a junction box. And with a bit of a chopping board. And we have that cut. And you can see the end of the pipe is squished in. Uh, all stainless bolts and what not. And uh, silicone around where the pipes go in and whatnot and a couple of connectors where they, they uh, attach onto the onto the pipes inside so uh, how do we make it if you're not very familiar so there's plenty of calculators online that will show you uh, what length your half wave dipole needs to be or you can go the old school method where you divide uh, your frequency 468 and divide that by your target frequency and that will give you an overall length so what I did was in this case I uh, cut it for 98 megs and if we divide 468 by 98 megs that gives us 4.77 feet and we divide that for uh, by 2 because it's a dipole so we have two sides 1 and 2 um, that gives us a figure of 2.38 feet So basically what we done was we cut the, the pipe which is 2.38 feet and kind of an important bit is this in here is to leave a gap of at least 25 mil between the two uh, elements or it won't work properly. You'll have a bit of interaction with uh, one and the other. So I'm hoping now once we get this up in the chimney I just need to get a roll of um, 75 ohm coax so I can run a, run a lead down from there to here. And uh, get it plugged into this old tuner here. Picked this up uh, pretty recently at a at a radio rally. Um, I paid ten euros for it. It's a 1976 Sony ST3950, as you can see. It's in reasonably good nick. A um, little bit of work required on the on the wood panels on the side, but we'll get it there. And just running it through this um, this old JVC amp at the minute here, as you can hear. Oh, I turned that down before the YouTube Nazis uh, come down on top of me. So um, I'm just using the amp to, uh, to to obviously amplify the signal coming from the tuner. But it's a lovely old thing, and uh, I really do like the look of it. I like the way it lights up and all that carry on. And uh, once we get through it and put some LEDs in it and all the usual, I'll carry on that I to get up to. We'll uh, we'll be happy with it. And uh, we have some other stuff down there on the shelf to uh, to get through, but we'll uh, we'll come back to that at a later date. So there you go. So uh, once we get this thing up on the chimney, I'm hoping to get uh, pretty decent reception around about the place. You can buy these little circular guys for about sixteen euros, but they're I don't know. I I read mixed reports about them, you know. So um, I decided to go at the old school. Uh, classic dipole so we'll see how it works anyway I thought I'd just stick this bit on the end and uh, I put the dipole up there Sunday a slight little redesign on the the chopping board part you can see where it goes up and down to support the copper there so uh, it's working pretty well it's about uh, about 30 feet or so maybe a bit more there I'm not really sure but it's working very well.
Right, so I have it hooked up here. I run a 75 ohm coax down into the shed here and uh, into the back of the 3950 here. So, there, watch it now. Ah, none of you'll understand that. Well, I'm going to our studio a gas lap, Kate Fennel, hun That's uh, Irish. Even with the muting on there, it's quite good, you know. That's it. The welcoming annulment by the court yesterday of bylaws concerning the sale that stacks up. I don't know what that one is, but it's not stereo. Must be news talk. I think they're up around that end. Anyway, you get the idea. A little multi pat. The idea that is focus. You press the button, it should be at zero. Yeah, so we're uh, happy with that now. Some of the stations here, they're, they're, they're very wide slots. Ford EcoSport, that's okay. Tracked to a second camera further downriver uh, by the Galway Harbour. And uh, we continuous um, uh, tracking that's enabled around Anyway, the that's the it. Walk. You get the idea. So uh, thanks for watching. And 73. We'll, uh, we'll get you on the next one.